Good morning students Othello is a tragedy written by Shakespeare and in the recent UGC NET 2022 examination there was a question to set the tragedies of Shakespeare in chronological order so try to remember the chronological order of all the tragedies first came hamlet and then follows other tragedies like othello king lear and macbeth All right so in this video we will quickly look at the famous tragedy of Shakespeare that is Othello published in 1603 so the setting of the play is when is italy othello is general military man and is black in complexion he falls in love with desdemona a young woman and they both start a love affair and are very happy in each other's company we have a villain in this novel named iago He is a major soldier in Othello's army. He hates Othello for not promoting him to the rank of lieutenant but Cassio. He is more deserving than Cassio, but Othello chooses Cassio rather than him. He chooses Cassio because he is a sincere man. He is loyal and trustworthy. Cassio is also a good friend of Desdemona and Iago is jealous all about it. So that becomes a cause of his hatred. In the play we have Iago's wife Emilia and she is also the servant of Desdemona. We have another character in the play that is Rodrigo who is a friend of Iago and he loves Desdemona. So like Iago he too is jealous of Othello that Othello got everything including the beautiful Desdemona. So now they starts planning against Othello. So the first act of revenge is when Iago goes to Brebencio who is the father of Desdemona. He tells the father of the Desdemona that Desdemona is in a secret love affair with Othello. So on listening to this Brebencio gets angry and goes to Othello with weapons. He and his army arrest Othello and take him to the Duke of Venice. Brebencio says that Othello has done some black magic on his daughter. Desdemona cannot fall in love with a black man but Othello says that he just narrated a few stories of bravery to Desdemona and she falls in love with him so duke asked Desdemona about their love affair Desdemona confesses that yes she is in love with Othello and they both want to marry each other as the duke is aware that Othello is a brave man and the country requires him as a general in the current war with turkey so he gives decision in favor of Othello stating a legal marriage of him with Desdemona Brebencio who is the father of Desdemona he has no choice no one can go against the decision of duke so he too agrees to the marriage of Othello and Desdemona So now after the marriage what happens is that there comes a news that the army of Turkey is destroyed in huge winds. So they all are very happy that without even going to the war they won this war. So they start celebrating their victory. Now here what Iago does is that he makes Cassio consume alcohol during the celebration and then he makes him fight with another character named Montano. Hearing the fight between Cassio and Montano Othello comes out and gets very angry on Cassio. He says to Cassio that how a lieutenant can be so much irresponsible towards his duties. Othello takes the position of lieutenant from Cassio. Another trick is played by Iago. He says to Cassio that go and talk to Desdemona. She will surely resolve the problem. So Cassio goes to Desdemona. She hears the problem patiently and then they both go to Othello. Desdemona asks Othello to give him back his rank. Othello is in love with Desdemona and he agrees with Desdemona. So after the incidents, Iago indirectly says to Othello that Cassio and Desdemona are in love affair. That's the reason why she comes here for Cassio. He has already heard Cassio taking the name of Desdemona in his sleep. On listening to this, Othello is sad that how Desdemona can do this with him. Then Iago plays another trick. He asks his wife Emilia to bring Desdemona's handkerchiefs to him. Emilia didn't think the reason behind it and she picks Desdemona's handkerchief and give it to Iago. Iago puts the handkerchief in Cassio's room silently. Then Iago goes to Othello and tells that he saw Desdemona wipe Cassio's beard. That handkerchief was a token of love to Othello from Desdemona. 
So Othello goes to Desdemona and asks about the handkerchief. Desdemona looks here and there, but she is unable to find it. Iago again triggers Othello that Cassio and Desdemona have slept together. Othello gets very angry on listening to this, and he swears that he will kill both of them. He orders Iago to kill Cassio. Iago, along with Rodrigo, go and kill Cassio. Iago first kills Cassio and then kills Rodrigo, so that no one can come to know about his plan. And on the other hand, we have Othello, who goes to the room of Desdemona and kills her with a pillow. Emilia come to the room and after looking at what Othello has done she screams in fear so loudly that everyone gathers in the room Othello now tells everyone about the disloyalty and relationship of Desdemona with Cassio Emilia corrects him saying that it is not true it was Iago who asked her to bring the handkerchief of Desdemona there was nothing going on between Cassio and Desdemona all this is planned by Iago On listening to this, Othello gets very angry and attacks Iago. But what happens is that Iago cunningly brings Emilia in between. Emilia dies and Iago runs away and was never caught. At the end of the play, out of guilt, Othello kills himself. So the tragedy happens and no one is happy at the end of this play. And with this, we come to the end of this video. I hope you found the video worth your time. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel for more such updates. That's it for this video. Thank you.